Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Rufino, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, good. Excellent. It's always nice to see you. And how are you today, Luis Enrique? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Are you in San Salvador or somewhere else? Luis, are you in San Salvador? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Make me comments. Excellent. And uh, Patricia, yes. Veronica, how are you? Why are you so quiet? Hey, hello. I'm fine. Hello. Good evening. Why are good you? Good evening. So, why are you so quiet? Oh. <laughs> hmm. No, no entiendo. <laughs> ¿Por qué está tan callada? Siempre. Siempre, okay. Very good. Excellent. Well, it's nice to see you, Patricia. All right. And uh, Olivia Osorio, are you there? Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Yes. Okay, there you are. There you are. Okay. And uh, and Claudia Iraeta, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? He, he, just got, he just got home? Acabo de llegar a la casa? Mm, acabo de sentar. <laughs> oh, okay, very good. He just had uh, dinner. No? Mm, ya estuvo. Acabo de cenar, no. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. All right. And uh, Alba Saavedra, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I find very good. Thank you. Okay. How are you, you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Thank okay. you. Okay. And I'm glad to see you. And uh, nice we to have, see you too. All right. And we have Estela Lara. How are you today? You look like a, a college girl. Perdón. Te ves como una colegiala. <laughs> <laughs> sí, te has vestido así. ¿Verdad que sí, Alba? Mírala. Con su camisa de manga corta, sí, su pelo. Yeah. You look like really? a college girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice to see you, uh, Stella. Hey, Luis Alonso, how are you today? Uh, Good. Good, yes. I was Good. worried yes. because I didn't see you and you always on time. I said, oh my God, where is Luis Alonso today? Something happened? No, teacher. Uh, uh, this, uh, a few minutes uh, ago, uh, are very um, the raining. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Raining and the connection internet is... Mm. So bad. Internet connection is too slow. It's, yes. it's too slow. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. It is understandable. But Very good. Yeah. Sí. Por eso que a, por eso que a Rufino solo le vemos así la cara. Mira, y lo demás no se ve. Sí. <laughs> okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and Jenny yes. Sanchez, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm fine. Fine, excellent. It's always nice to see you. How was work? Um, um, it was very boring. Oh, it was boring. Oh, okay. So it was nothing to do, huh? So probably not to. It wasn't hard today. That's good. Though. That's good. It wasn't. It wasn't too hard for you. All right. Well, uh, we're going to start the class today, and uh, we have something very nice to see today. We're going to be talking about uh, intonation, intonation and pitch. 
Okay, so whenever we talk um, English, the English language is, is not uh, um, a grammar and vocabulary only. Because if you have only grammar and vocabulary, then when you talk, uh, you, you cannot convey people. In, in English, we need to convey uh, other people. And the way we convey other people is by our intonation. Okay, so we're going to learn about uh, intonation today. All right. So I'm so excited to, you know, to be talking about that. But uh, before we talk about intonation, I would like to know if you have any question from yesterday's class. Uh, we were talking about, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Alba, do you remember what uh, we were talking about yesterday? The, yesterday, um, talk about the superlative adjective. Okay, superlative ah. adjectives. Yes, very good. And uh, can you tell me something about what is a superlative adjective, uh, Claudia Iraeta? Um, son los que como que se magnifica la, la expresión. Oh, oh. No. Mm -mm, no. 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 Solo copié los ejemplos. <laughs> no. Ok. Vamos a probar con Jenny. Jenny, can you tell us something about uh, superlative adjectives? Es, son eh, los adjetivos que sirven para comparar, pero con varios. No uno a uno como el... el se me olvidó cómo se llama el, el que vimos antes. <risa> Pero los superlativos son los que se comparan de uno con muchos. Yes, yes. Son uh, superlative adjectives, son las palabras que nosotros usamos para comparar uno a muchos. Y el comparative adjectives are the ones that we compare one to one. One person to another person, one thing to another thing. And uh, that's, that's the difference between them. Y um, dígame, ¿cuál es la diferencia en estructura? Uh, what's the difference uh, in the structure between uh, the comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives? Uh, and let's see, Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique. Yes. Could you give me the, the questions? Okay, um, the, what's the difference between the comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives? The difference are... In the structure, uh, yes. Uh, comparative... Yeah. Subject, subject plus verb plus adjective or adjective comparative. Okay. Okay. And what are the rules okay. we use for the comparative uh, superlative adjectives, Tatiana Pleites? I didn't catch it. Can you repeat? Please? Yes. What are the rules that we apply to the superlative adjectives? Mm. One of them. When we talk about the superlative adjectives, adjectives uh, have the have the the similar rules to the the comparative adjectives. For example, uh, when we have a, a adjective when the one syllable, we add only e s t at the end of the word. Okay. Yes. That's one right. rule. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the other rule, um, when we have a uh, adjective when the structure consonant vowel consonant. 
we du uh, duplicate. Yeah, we the, double. We, yes, we double. We duplicate. double. We yes, double the the last letter. Last consonant. Yes. Uh huh. Last consonant, and uh, we are the the EST. Yes, we are the EST. Yes, right. Okay. Good. Good. So you gave me two two rules. That's very good. Excellent. Let's see, Patricia. Any other rule? Um, eh, cuando de los comparativos o los de, de los superlativos. Superlativos, yes. Uh -huh. es, es, es se le agregan da. Okay. Este da, da como es, ejemplo eh, more mother y se le agrega the most mother modern ok the most mar eh, y esa cuál regla es cuando son dos o más eh, sílabas yes uh -huh. when we have a, an adjective that has uh, two or more syllables then we uh, instead of adding the word more we use the most, yes, the most modern. Yes, very good, excellent, good job, Patricia. One more rule, Estela Lara. I don't remember. Okay. <clears throat> Can you look in your notes? I don't remember more. So, son tres. You see, que en vez de agregársele, que en vez de ponérsele E, R, se le pone E, S, T. La otra es que si lleva Y, se le quita la Y, y se le pone Y latina, con E, S, T. Y la última es que si la dos, most libas se le regan lo que es da most en okay sí la 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 why verdad if uh, an adjective ends in a y what we do is we replace the y for the i and we add the est to it yes very good very good excellent and what do we do with the uh, with the uh, um, the adjectives that um, we cannot add uh, the est at the end. So the special adjectives like good. How the good? Yes. How do we make that superlative the good? Adjectives. It's the best. Yes. There we go. The best. Okay. The best. And what about bad? The worst. worst. The worst. The yes. Worst. The worst. And what about uh, uh, far? Far. Father. Father. The farthest. Yes. Farther. Or the furthest. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So we we got them all right. Very good. Excellent. Um, and um, also let's see. Mm. And, and we have uh, one more thing uh, in the beautiful the beautiful how many uh, syllables beautiful the word the beautiful has the most beautiful so we, we will use the most beautiful one yes very good excellent okay I think we've got it more right very good if you have any questions, just let me know so I can give you uh, 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 another uh, kind of uh, uh, explanation about uh, superlative. But I think uh, you already got the idea. And um, if you don't remember it, uh, just study it, uh, your uh, um, notes so you can reinforce your knowledge, okay? Because it is very important for you to know uh, comparatives and superlatives very well. 
All right. Okay, very good. Now, what is uh, intonation for you guys? Can anybody tell me what what uh, comes to your mind when you hear the word intonation? Intonation. What comes to your mind when you hear the word intonation? What about pitch? Pitch. Yes, pitch. When you hear the word pitch. Pitch. Yeah. So intonation is related to pitch. Yes. So we're gonna say that the intonation is the is the pitch the pitch of your voice. Okay, goes up, goes up and down. Goes up and down as you talk. Or recite. What is recite? Singing it. Okay, so that would be intonation, is the pitch of your voice goes up and down as you talk or reciting something by singing it. Yes. So eso sería intonation in, in, uh, in English. Remember that the English language is not uh, just uh, grammar and vocabulary. Yeah. There is more to it. Because if we have a grammar and vocabulary, but we don't have a, a good intonation, it will be hard for us to convey a meaning. Because that's, that's, that's the whole thing. We need to convey a meaning or a feeling or an emotion or an expression to other people. So that is the language. When you want to express something or you want to uh, give a meaning to something or you want to uh, tell someone your emotion, how do you feel? So you use intonation. And pitch is a musical uh, uh, term that they, they use because the uh, uh, English language is like a, a musical, when you talk, it's like a musical uh, intonation that you're making. So people can understand you. So the pitch is, is the highness Highness and lowness, lowness of your voice. So that would be uh, the pitch. Yeah, is the highness and lowness of your voice. So we have two concepts over here: intonation, which is the pitch of your voice when goes up and goes down as you talk. Or when you recite something like uh, a music, when you're singing something, uh, the music, uh, the singers, they, they do that kind of intonation. And when you talk, you're like a reciting that intonation. Okay. So any question about the intonation and pitch? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la entonación y el pitch? Sí, sí, dígame, please. This is uh, like when we, we, are, we are going to say some, uh, any word with stress. No, the stress is something different. The stress is like a, un acento que usted le da. That is the word stress. 
when you make the emphasis <clears throat> on that word more than any other, like uh, if I say mother and mother, see the difference? That is a stress. Mother, yes, and mother. I'm giving, I'm, I'm putting more stress on the uh, mother. mother, see? Mother. And the other one is mother. So, so that is stress. But intonation is something different. See, let me give you an example. Um, Estela, Estela got a dog. Yeah. Estela got a dog. Yes. So, and we're going to say este, Estela got a dog. Dog, got a dog, see? Okay, we have uh, mm -hmm. over here, we're gonna see the intonation and the pitch. Mm -hmm. So one is uh, Stella got a dog, see? Stella got a dog. And the other one is Stella got a dog. See, see the, the pitch and the intonation on the, on the dog over here? One goes down. See, where I say, Stella got a dog. See, Stella, Estella got a dog. Yeah. And, la, y la otra es, Stella got a dog. See, oh, ve la intonation, ve que uno, un dog, sube. Un dog, okay. sube. Y el otro baja. And then this, y el otro baja. let me see, uh, uh, or pitch. It's like the the way of when people talk about like the stress from US and the stress from uh, England, for example. Mm -hmm. The stress is something different. Stress is England and England. See? That's different. You're you're uh, putting stress on the word. But over here, I'm just putting the stress at the end of the sentence. I'm putting up, up stress, like a up intonation, and the other one is down intonation. So one is falling intonation, and the other one is rising intonation. Falling is que se cae, yeah? La forma en que yo digo, see, si Estela got a dog, see? Si? Estela got a dog. Estela got a dog. Estela got a dog. Yeah. Y la otra. Estela got a dog. Ese dog que se va hacia arriba. Estela got a dog. There we go. ¿Sí? No. Ve, eso es. Perfecto. Bueno, la, la leyó bien. Eso es. Estela got a dog. Sí. Y la otra. Estela got a dog. Yeah. Estela got a dog. Se va, el dog es, es como falling, yes, dog, yeah, y el otro es dog, dog, eso sería la intonation, ok, o si usted dice, por ejemplo, um, eh, Luis, usted dice, I got a dog, yeah, I got a dog, yeah, Eso sería, I got a dog. O cuando usted dice, how are you? Sí, escucha ese, how are you? Ese, ese, how are you? Sí, esa intonation que se va hacia abajo. Intonation. Eso es falling intonation. Eh, diferente sería que digo, how are you? How are you? Sí, es diferente. Ese es, le estoy dando otro meaning a, a la a la oración. Le estoy dando otra emotion, ¿sí? How are you? ¿Sí? Y la otra, how are you? How are you? Y la otra, how are you? ¿Sí? Eso es la intonación, pero el estrés, Luis, sería otra cosa. How are you? How are you? Ese es otra, otra, ese es estrés, ese es diferente. Okay. okay. Intonation okay. Is, is only sentences. Intonation is 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 the pitch 
cuando usted sube el pitch o baja el pitch para tratar de eh, trans, eh, trans, transfer a meaning, algo, o una emoción. Por ejemplo, Estela, Estela got a dog. Estela got a dog. Yes. Estela got a dog. Estela, ¿Sí? Estela, o, got, a Estela dog. got a dog. ¿Sí? Estela got a dog. Cuando usted dice Estela got a dog. Ese Estela dog. dog. Ese da una emoción diferente que Estela, Estela got a dog. dog. Oh, Estela got a dog. Yeah. Es, es una emoción diferente. Entonces, por eso es que eh, el pitch es bien importante. La intonación es bien importante cuando usted está hablando inglés para que usted pueda convencer a otras personas. Ok, vamos a, a poner otra oración aquí y vamos a, a tratar de leerla. Uh, el, your dog speaks. Ok. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo, cómo leyéramos esta. Eso, eso. Very good. Léamela, por favor. ¿Yo? Sí, please. Me gustó. Yours. Me gustó. <ríe> <ríe> me gustó. Oh, ya no me va a salir. <ríe> oh, ya no, ya no. Ya la puse nerviosa. <ríe> Rufino la puse <ríe> nerviosa. Ya no le va a salir. <ríe> Yours. Your dog speaking English. No, ya no le salió. Ya no, no me salió. ¿va? No, ya no. Ya ve, ya no me, ya ya no. No me hubiera dicho. Sí, sí, ya oh, me, lo, lo hubiera grabado, ¿verdad? Sí. Your dog speak English. There we go. Así. Ahí está. Ahí uh -huh. está. Sí. Your dog speak English y se va así Your hacia arriba. Is... Uh -huh. Your dog speak English. Your dog speaking English. Speak. No. It's Your speak. dog speaks English. Speaks ah, English. speak. Speak English. No, el English se va hacia arriba. Ah, se va para arriba. Sí. Your dog speaking English. There we go. Yes. Así como hizo Luis Alonso. Exactamente así. <coughs> Your dog speaks Vaya, English. Vuelva a decir. English. Your dog speaks English. There Your we go. dog speaks English. No, ese English usted lo hace para abajo. Your... Sí. Ah, Usted lo hace para abajo y tiene que ser así English. como lo dice, exactamente como lo dijo Luis Alonso. Lo dice okay. mejor que, cualqui, que cualquiera de nosotros. Yes. Entonces, uh, Luis Alonso, por favor, again. One more time. Your, your dog speaks English. There we go. Uh -huh. Your dog speaks English. English. Your dog speaks English. Yes. Your, your dog, dog speaks speak English. English. Yes. Uh -huh. Your dog speaks English. Ahí está. Ahí está. Oh, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Your dog speaks English. Yes. Ok. ¿Alguien más quiere probar eso? Porque acuérdense que es sí, intonation. Eso es una habilidad. No es algo que usted yes. de la noche a la mañana ya. Oh my God. I'm, 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 my intonation is better sí. now. No. <laughs> es de practicarlo y, y que lo escuche a alguien que sepa acerca de intonation. Porque sí. si la persona no sabe, usted va a quedar igual. Va a decir, ah, pues lo estoy haciendo bien. Como por ejemplo ahorita. Eh, a Luis yes. Alonso lo escuché. Perfecto. Muy bien. ¿Mm? Y ya lo pongo de ejemplo a él para que otras personas lo sigan. Carla, Verónica, sí, díganme. Your dog speaks English. Muy bien. Perfecto. Your dog speaks English. Yes. Your dog speaks English. Very good. Excelente. Ok. Vamos a ir. Con otra oración, vamos a ver cómo nos va. Vamos a ver, ¿quién me lee esta? Who got a dog? ¿Ah? Who got a dog? Got, got, got. got. Who got a dog? Yeah. Who got a dog? ¿Sí? Who got a dog? Sí, es la expresión. Who got a dog? Who got a dog? ¿Sí? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Yes, es como preguntando, ¿Quién tiene un perro? Así, ¿Quién tiene un perro? ¿Sí? Es una expresión como, mira, ¿Quién tiene un perro? ¿Sí? No dice, ¿Quién tiene un perro? No, ¿Verdad? Eso sería 
otra cosa como que, oh my goodness, ¿para qué le agarró el perro? ¿Sí? Por eso es que estamos aprendiendo de intonation, porque eso va a depender... Ay, cara, todo. Yeah, uh -huh. Va a depender de la otra, la reacción que tome la otra persona. Usted tal vez va a pensar, pero ¿por qué se enojó si... Yo no quería decir eso, pero es su intonation lo que hizo. Por ejemplo, um, who got a dog? Sí, eso fue para abajo, ¿verdad? Falling intonation. Es como que yo estoy en contra de que la persona haya obtenido un dog. Pero si yo digo, who got a dog? Yeah, who got a dog? Yes, se ve más emocionante. Yes. Who got a dog? Yeah, who got a dog? Yeah, who got a dog? Oh my goodness. I'm so happy for you. Hmm? Huh? Who got a coat? No. Who? 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 Got. Yeah, this is como así. Who uh -huh. got, good got a dog? A dog. A good got a dog. No, who? A who got a dog. Este es como que fuera así, vea. Who? 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 Got, got a, a dog. dog. Entonces, who got a dog? Who got a who dog? Got a dog? Who, who got, a, got dog? a dog? Yeah. Who got, who a, got dog? a dog? Yeah. Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Entonces, eso para que... Who got a dog? Hmm? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, teacher, but I have a problem with the energy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Yes, eso se escucha de esa manera, okay? Estamos entendiendo más o menos acerca de la intonation, porque esto... Eh, tiene que entenderlo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué es que suena así? ¿Por qué es que se sube la voz aquí? ¿Por qué se baja de esta manera? Vamos a ver otro ejemplo un poquito diferente para que veamos la diferencia. My dog. Hoy es el día de los perros, ¿eh? My dog. Oh. Es, todo es de perros. ¿Tení? My dog is smart, cama, pretty. Estoy aprendiendo también. Cama and sweet. Huh? My dog is small. Okay. So who, who wants to try to read this? My dog is small. Me teacher. Okay, please go ahead. <coughs> My, My dog is smart, 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 pretty, and sweet. There we go. Yes. Uh -huh. My dog is smart. Very good. Okay. So, my dog my is dog smart. Is smart. smart. Esta, really? vea, vea que esta, la, the intonation is, is very, this one smart, it's like this. My dog yes. is smart. Smart. Pretty. Pretty. No, no sube ni baja. Se está ahí, vea. My dog okay. is smart. Smart. Pretty. Pretty. And. Pretty. and Sweet. Is smart, pretty. Yeah, y bajó. Mm. No dijo en sweet. Sí, mm -hmm. no dijo en sweet. No, sino que bajó en sweet. sweet. Yes, my dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. And sweet. Yeah, and sweet. Entonces bajó la intonation. Si usted la deja como my dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Sí, se sí, diferente, ¿verdad? Different and sweet. Yeah. Oh, si usted dijera, my dog is my smart, smart, pretty, and pretty sweet. And sweet. No se sé bien. Sí. Yeah. Pero si usted la dice así como dijo Luis, se oye perfecto. My dog, my is, dog smart, is smart, pretty, pretty and, and sweet. sweet. And sweet. Yes. Entonces, mi perro es, es inteligente, es bonito y, y dulce. dulce. Yes. Me muerde todos los días. <risa> yeah. Yeah. Ok, entonces eso es la intonation. Si ¿Sí? se fija, intonation para arriba, para abajo. Um, vamos a ver cómo, cómo podemos... A ver cómo podemos hacer esta intonación. I... Uh, 
¿Ok? ¿Cómo se escucharía esto? I want a dog, but... Yes. Yes. Very good. Que, y el, una pregunta. Question. El but, it falls, rises, or stay the same? El fall, el but, um, sube, but, baja, o stays the same? ¿Cuál es stay la the same. De stay the same. Stay the stay same. The same. Stay yes. the same. Porque si bajara, dijera, I want a dog, but... but. Yes. Y si estuviera, dijera, I want a dog, but... but yes. I es want, como que, wow. ¿no? Dog, y el otro es, yes. I want a dog, I but... Dog. ¿Sí? I want a dog, yeah. but... I se queda así. So, stays the same. En ese caso, la intonación stays the same. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. yes. ¿Sí estamos bien? Yes. Ok, entonces quiero un voluntario que me lea las, las oraciones que hemos puesto uh, con la entonación que hemos aprendido, ¿ya? Yo no la voy a leer porque si yo la leo, entonces le defeats the purpose of the practice, ¿ya? Yeah. Solamente un, un, un voluntario, ¿verdad? Todo está levantando la mano, solo quiero uno. Only one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Luis dijo que... Okay. Uh, okay. Luis, oh, oh, ah, estamos esperando a Luis. <laughs> no. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. ¿Nos engañó me. Luis? No. Your dog speaks English. Uh -huh. Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. I want a dog, but... Okay. Are you know, um... Who got a dog? Me lo dices diferente de como me lo dices anteriormente. Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Es esa, sí, ¿verdad? Who got a dog? Yes. Y Who got your a dog? dog? Your dog speak English? Yes, sube. Your dog yes. speak English? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Your dog speak English? Yes, yes. Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Ajá, uh -huh. yes, así. Who got a dog? Yeah. Porque si dice who got a dog, sí, es, se, yes. se, se queda okay. así. Who got a dog? Yes. 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 Es, un, es un poco complicadillo, pero yeah, por yes. ahí vamos eh, eh, con la intonation. Por ahí vamos más o menos. Okay, okay. okay very good. Um, Estela Lara me levantó la mano. Your dog speaks English? Uh, yes. Who got a dog? Muy bien. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Very good, excellent. Uh, uh, good job, Maria Morena. I want a dog, but... I'm sorry, ¿qué me dijo? Perdón. Only repeat. Okay, <laughs> very good. Excellent, good job. Okay, Morena Medina, please. <laughs> ya decía yo, Morena me, María. Morena Medina, las dos uh, M. Dos M. Yo tengo tres. Oh, tres tiene. Sí. Ok. Morena Medina. Morena Medina. Méndez. Méndez. Ok. Very good. My, your, your dog speak English. Google dog. My dog is smart. Pretty is, is pretty and sweet. Ok, esa última estuvo bien, pero las primeras dos tenemos que dar la intonación no. para arriba. Las dos. Your dog speak English? Who got a dog? Te repito. Yes. Who got a dog? Eh, 
You don't speak English? Is it about English? Yes. You don't speak English? Ahí está. Good got a dog. Who got a dog? Y la otra? Good got a dog. No, who got no. a dog? I'm good got a go dog. Es como que diga, ¿Quién tiene un perro? ¿Sí? No es, ¿Quién tiene un perro? ¿Sí la diferencia? Good, sí, sí. Who got a go dog? Who got a who, dog? Who got a dog? Who got a dog? Ahorita no estamos trabajando en pronunciación. Estamos trabajando en intonation. Entonces, el dog lo está diciendo bien. Estamos trabajando en la intonation. Dog. Dog. Yes. Who, my good got a dog. Ahí está. Ahí está. Very good. Ya no la molesto. Ya. Come on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Ok. Very good. Gracias por corregirme. <laughs> ok. Very good. Um, let's see. ¿Quién más tenemos? Just a second. Hey, Claudia Iraeta, please. I got a dog. Who are you? You dog, your dog speak English? Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Yes, solo, who got a dog? Esa es la única que me dijo, who got a dog? Yeah. <laughs> es como que, nah. Yeah. Yeah. who got a dog? <laughs> yes. Probemos esa, who got a dog? Who got a dog? Ahí está, está mejor, very good. Patricia, Verónica. Mm -hmm. Please. I got a dog. Who are you? Your, your dog speak English? Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. My goodness, ¿eh? como una canadiense. My goodness. <laughs> Very good. Luis Enrique, please. Yes. <laughs> Estela. Got a dog. Mm -hmm. Speaks English. Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Se te oye bien monótono, Luis. Se te oye bien monótono. Como okay. que. Sí, tiene, que tiene que darle más. Hey, your dog speak English. Yeah. Who got a dog? Yeah. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. My dog. Is smart, pretty, and sweet. Yes. Yes. Las otras dos. The dog speaks English. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Good job. Um, Tatiana, play this. Your dog is speak English? Who get a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Se fue la conexión, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Rufino Amilcar. I, I got a dog. How are you? Your dog speak English? Who, I got, who got a dog? Very good. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. And sweet. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerrón. I got a dog. Who are you? You are speaking English? Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Ok, otra vez, démosle ese, ese, esa intonation al English, dog, and sweet. Your dog is speak English? Muy bien. Who got a dog? My dog is uh, smart, pretty, and sweet. 
Very good, excellent. Andrea Renderos? I got a dog. Who are you? Your dog speaks English? Mm -hmm. Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Very good. Who got a dog? Sería eso. Who got a dog? Así para arriba. No, who got a dog? Yes. Who got a dog? Solo esa es la que necesitamos trabajar en el intonation. Very good, Andrea. Good job. Gabriela Cortés. I got a dog. How are you? Your dog speaks English. Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Olivia Osorio. Hola. Hola. Tiene mal el internet. O tiene mal el internet. Uh, pero lo intentaré. Ok. Hola. Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Hola. Sí. Ok. Tratemos con Alba Saavedra. Thank you. Okay. Your dog speak English? Who got a dog? My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, you, you always do everything with style, huh, Alba? Very good. Good job. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, Jose Vega. Long time not seeing you. Where have you been hiding, Jose? Tiempo de no verte. ¿Dónde te escondes? Ah, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad to see you. Estoy contento de verte. Okay. Your dog speaking English. You got a dog. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Very good. Okay. Jenny Sanchez? No se me escapa. <laughs> Your dog speaks English? Yes, he does. He, he does. Yeah. Who got a, who got a dog? Who got a dog? My, who got a dog? Very good. My dog is smart, pretty, and sweet. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I, I guess we got the, the idea of, uh, of uh, intonation, what intonation is. So everybody is, uh, is kind of uh, at the same level of the intonation and we understood where we have to rise the pitch and where we have to love the pitch, yeah? And you're gonna start noticing how people talk. You're gonna start noticing the pitch and the intonation. You're gonna say, oh my goodness, now I hear it. I can hear it now because now you know about intonation. And um, let's, uh, let's read, uh, this uh, let me share with you this uh, conversation about distances and measures. So we're gonna we're gonna hear the intonation about this. Um, on this one, pay attention to the rises and 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 fallings of the words. For example, it says, uh, "I'm going to Australia next year." Aren't you from Australia, Beth? See, Beth. Lo dice, it rises. Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. El high va para abajo, si bien? High, no dice, hi. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year too. Yes? Okay? 
So, eso se oye no muy excited, ¿verdad? Pero si ustedes cambian el pitch, well, maybe I should visit you next year too. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ya cambia, ¿sí? La, el meaning. Ok, vamos a probar, a ver cómo nos va en esta lectura. Eh, acuérdense, no estamos trabajando en la pronunciation, sino que en el pitch. Y es, entonces vamos a tener a Paola María Alvarado Cerrón y Luis Enrique. Going to Australia next year. Luis Enrique y Paola. I'm going to. I'm going to next year. Aren't you from Australia? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I know that. So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of parks and it's very mountain. Oh, really? How are how high are the mountains? Well, the highest uh, one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,000 meters high. Um, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, I will visit next year too. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, let's uh, switch places. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Pat? Actually, I'm from Australia. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, so, okay. what is like there? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of fun. It's the mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the last one is Mount is about 300 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, Auckland for Auckland and Auckland about thousand kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year too. Okay, very good, very good, excellent, good job, excellent, good job, excellent. Okay, Alba Saavedra in. Uh, Luis, please. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I, I don't know too. <laughs> okay. I am going to Australia hola, next hola, year. Hola, 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 Are you from Australian, Bet? Actually, I'm from, no, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what I like there. Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of fun and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about uh, 3,000 a... a hundred, hundred, hundred. Hundred, uh, meters high. 
Mm -hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next year too. Very good, okay. excellent. Okay, let's switch places now. I am I'm going to Australia next. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Eh, perdón, Luis. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farm and it's very mountain. Really? Mountainous. 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 Mm -hmm. Mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Oakland and Oakland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next year too. Very good, excellent, good job, excellent, good job. Okay, may I have Yeni Sanchez and uh, Patricia Veronica Salazar? Please. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia there? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lot, lots of farm and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I like in Auckland and Auckland is about two, ay, two thousand kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you, you next year too. Okay, very good. Switch places. And um, I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a, it has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount, Mount Cook. It's about uh, 3,008 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next your you next year too. Okay, good. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Digalo así. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Leano. Well, maybe I should visit you you next year too. Next next year too. Es como excited, verdad? Se quiere ir. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too well maybe i should visit you next year too my goodness very good <laughs> excellent 
Y la otra que quiero ayudarle es lo, donde dice, so what's it like there? Allí vamos a unir la S con la ET para que se oiga, so what's it like there? What's it like there? So what's it like there? No lo encuentro. Perdón, ¿cómo era? La, la, donde está so, Scott. La tercera de arriba para abajo, la tercera de Scott. Uh, Le dice, okay. oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? What's it like there? So, what's so it what's like there? That, so, so, what's I, I, so, what's <laughs> I like there? <laughs> so, was it like there. So what's it like there? Una la S so con la E. Like so was it like there? So was it like there? Very good, very good. Oh, I didn't know that. So was, so it? was it like there? Dígalo. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's like... <laughs> <laughs> Es como, es como, es como un, le, un lang, lengua se le traba, ¿verdad? Yes. So what's it like there? Very good. Yeah, so yeah. Nice. Ahí está. Ok. La última vez, tratemos. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Um, so what's it like so what's it like there? Very good, excellent, good job, good job, excellent, good job. Good job to all of you, very good, good job. Eso de intonation, uh, tranquilos, ok? Si usted piensa que, oh my God, no me sale, eso está difícil. Yes, no es fácil, pero once you get it, you, your world is gonna change. You're gonna see a lot of things that uh, you didn't see before. Va a haber muchas cosas. Oh, este se ve como que va para arriba, es otro para abajo. Oh, este se ve como que stays like that. Y va a ver que la información que usted va a tratar de, de, de convey va a ser diferente from now on. Ok. So, congratulations to all of you. Thank you for your participation. And I see you tomorrow. Ok. Have a, all of you, good night. 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 Good night.